I stand before you here in Altisha to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. <laughs> falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place, look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis. So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. Eyesight's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. 
I'm here, aren't I? Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? She gave her life so you could do your duty. Not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you too. And for what? Enough, Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <laughs> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. Knocked! Leave him! the way you were looking at her. I wasn't looking at anyone. Mother's wrath, the government of Accordo has declared a state of national emergency. On behalf of the nation, I would like to express our relief that King Noctis has survived. The towering waves that swept over Altisha left great destruction in their wake. It will take time to rebuild our lives. That said, the damage done to our fair capital would have been far more severe were it not for the aid of the King and the Oracle. First Secretary Klostra also pledged the government would continue its search for Lady Luna Freya, whose current whereabouts remain unknown. Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. It's not looking good. What I wouldn't give to see her again. Oh, 
guess I better turn around. What's wrong? I came to the Fadina Castino thinking I'd pay my respects at the royal tomb. Little did I know, they put the place off limits on account of some accident. So you're saying there's no way inside that uh, Faustino Menudo or whatever? Fadina Castino. Where there's a will, there's a way, I suppose, but I wouldn't take my chances if I were you. Listen, kid, you may be dead set on going down there, but you're set to end up dead if you do. If the monsters down there don't kill you first, the smell probably will. What? Was there a gas leak or something? No one knows for sure, and I'm not risking my life going down to find out. If you want to risk yours, though, then be my guest. There's an elevator that should take us straight down to the mine. Wonder if the tomb's inside. Those two went to grab a bite in that glorified dining car they call a restaurant. Ready to set out? I'll manage somehow. Well, we made it to the quarry. But our destination likely lies deeper inside. Might not have it for long, though. Hurry up and move the machine. Yes, sir. Going in alone, huh? For this you got what it takes <sighs> to do what to face your ancestors and convince them to lend you their strength got a long road ahead can you see this through to the end If I have a choice. You think I like the idea of people sacrificing themselves for me? One after the other? Enough. Forget it. I thought you'd accepted your duty. I thought wrong. What about over there? Looks pretty to me, to me. What is this? I hate eggs. Do we really want to know what's back there? <laughs> that looks like a mouth. 
Was that its face? What is it? Something real bad. I'm covered in drool. Food if it weren't for you. Happy to help. What, no royal commendation from his majesty? None for you, at least. Whisking them just makes a mess. Better fry them. I think we found it! Just wish they found a better place to build it. moment. Is everything okay? It bloody well isn't. And I won't suffer this pointless bickering in silence any longer. <sighs> Let's be frank. My vision hasn't improved, and probably won't. Yet in spite of this, I would remain with you all. To the very end. <laughs> Sorry, but I object. War is a matter of life and death. But we'll be there! It's not about us looking out for him! Uh-huh. Well, then he should be free to choose. There's more to it than just what he wants. I know full well! I won't ask you to slow down. If I cannot keep up, I will bow out. <sighs> what says His Majesty? Noct, you are king. One cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward, always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Gladio, Noct will take his rightful place, but only once he's ready. Have it your way. We're still taking a big risk, 
We better all be ready. We're here for you. Yeah. Let us help you. And we're off! Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough. <laughs> Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> We're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the First Secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh. Is someone else there? Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go, anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire's already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happen to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, whoa! Oh, there you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Doesn't make any sense. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? I couldn't dream something like this if I tried. What the hell are Whoa, you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh. Shut up! Be careful there! Wait. Is this for real? Oh! Oh! Show yourself! Ah, uh, knocked. That son of a bitch! Come on, knocked. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing around, okay? You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? I've got you now. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? What? 
Are you saying it's not? Yes. What good would it do me to hurt you? Who cares? Knocked. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never. Knocked. Are you okay? No. Where's Art? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. Look! They're hot on our tail! They're gonna blow us to bits! 
Not if we blow him up first. How's that now? Shoot. Sure. Oh, well, there's an idea. You've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. And things just got worse. Coming from Can't take much more of this. 